by GCSE Biology. Syllabus Statement 517 Micropropagation and Plants. We begin with a plant which has characteristics that we consider desirable. And we want to produce more plants of the same kind. The problem is that if we use sexual reproduction then the plants obtained will show genetic variation and will differ from this particular parental plant. Instead we have to use a cloning technique called micropropagation. We begin by taking tissue from the shoot tip or the root tip. So from the shoots or from the roots. The next step is that under aseptic conditions, which means free from, com from contamination, we're going to cut this tissue into many small parts. And that's true of this one also. next stage is to transfer our tissue to a petri dish that will contain nutrient agar. This agar will have a variety of minerals to support the growth of the tissue. So we're going to place the tissue on the agar like this in addition to the minerals, there will also be some uh, rooting compounds and ad other plant hormones. And these will encourage the growth of each of the small parts into small clone. the original plant and then each of these can be then grown on into a seedling. Notice that in the process of doing so we create many copies of the original plant so this is our clone. They are genetically identical and they will therefore have the same characteristics as our original plant. Micropropagation 517